Well, Abilities Unlimited gets most of its million and a half dollar budget for Medicaid reimbursements. But the executive director says paying more and minimum wage will directly impact the people they help. And he says it's the same story for many similar organizations across the state. My confidence booster has been from this to this. Like, I got so much going on. Stephanie Price is one of 69 adults with special needs who gets help from Abilities Unlimited. Today, she and her classmates are helping in the kitchen. Oh, we're trying to prep for our family and friends Thanksgiving dinner on Friday. Onions are a vital part to any, any dressing. Stephanie and the others who come here also get paid to work some jobs, like shredding plastic straps that are sold to local recycling companies. The workers get paid for every pound they chop up. Recyclers don't want it as a continuous piece. They want it as chopped up pieces so they can recycle it. Today, they also sorted hangers. This is a contract for CentOS Industrial Laundry Service. If you ever try to take one hanger out of your closet, you normally come out with 15 hangers. That's what our guys do, is they make the job easier for CentOS. And one week alone, these adults can sort 90,000 hangers. Bill Lloyd says paying more in minimum wage means these workers will get a little more money, but it will also cost the agency more money. First year to the tune of $14,000. Second year, $32,000. The final increase is going to cost this agency $50,000. Lloyd says they can try to pass the extra cost to the companies they contract with, but... We could lose the job or we would probably have to do the job for a loss. And Lloyd says other cost cutting options are limited. We're pretty much to the bare bones when it comes to staffing now as to, okay, who loses their job, who loses their hours. Yes, you, you like having a paycheck, but for me it's more of a experience kind of thing. Like you learn more, more things than you would in the outside world. And Lloyd says increasing Medicaid reimbursements would help, but that's something that hasn't happened since 2008. And when I reached out to the Department of Human Services, a spokesperson said since the minimum wage increase just passed, that now it's something that they're going to have to take a look at. Live in Van Buren, Brett Rains, 4029 News.